Guys, welcome back to the Collie G Kitchen. And welcome back to day, to part two of day 93 of your 101 day food and fasting program. We've got our broccoli bake in the oven and now we are about to start on the steak. What we're gonna do, we're gonna cook the steak, then we're gonna set it aside to rest and then what, we're gonna, then what we'll do after that, we'll fry up, we'll grate our cauliflower and we'll fry it up uh, with the courgette, the onions and garlic and everything. Get some heat into this pan and got a couple of sirloins here. I'm just going to hold this down, fat side down, just for a minute or so, just so some of that fat renders off. Every time I'm cooking steak, I generally want to cook the steak in its own fat. There's no need to add any other fats to this. But as you can see from my steak there, there's not a lot of fat going on here. So we'll just give that a minute or so. We might add, we might add a little bit of coconut oil or some butter. Yeah, we're not, we're not getting much at all from those. Yeah, so we're just going to start frying that for a minute or two each side. What we do is just cut this garlic and this, these onions. And the courgette. I've got a mixture between regular onion and I've got some spring onion here. Garlic clove. Even our car get a little bit of a wash. Top and seal. I'm going to use two thirds of this car jet. Just chop them into kind of one centimetre, half a centimetre chunks, and then we're just going to quarter these. Nice. Turn our steak. Add a little bit more heat to that pan. It's not too bad. Yeah, so there's two ways you can do your cauliflower. I'm going to get a ball actually. I'm just grate it into pieces. Just watch your fingers when you're doing this. And it will just break off into, let me just show you, little like rice sized pieces. And then depending on your chopping skills, 
you could just find the dices, which I think I'll find a lot easier. Remember not to forget about your broccoli bake as well. Anytime you've got something in the oven, especially if you haven't cooked it before, you want to be keeping an eye on it. So I'm just going to chop up this little broth, this little claret, and I'm going to check on it now. That's looking like it's nearly done. Just going to turn this steak once more. Yeah. We'll set our steaks just aside to rest till we're ready to slice those up. I'm going to go back into this pan with a little knob of butter. You could use coconut oil if you like. And then I'm going to go straight in with all these onions and courgettes. Nearly done with our cauliflower. Thank you. 
Now we've got our broccoli rice done. Not broccoli rice, cauliflower rice. Kind of wish I'd done a little bit more now. In with the cauliflower rice. Check on our broccoli bake now. Wowzers. Look like it's cooked. Unreal seems. Just gonna continue to stir fry this cauliflower rice just for a couple more minutes. And what we're gonna do now as well, we're gonna slice up this steak. Okay, one last little knob of butter going into the pan. I'm just going to kind of refry this steak a little bit. And then we'll serve it over the top. And while that's happening, while that's melting down. Yeah, while that's melting down, we're going to take our lovely broccoli bake
Okay, now that butter's melted, we're just going to go straight in with the steak. Literally needs another 30 seconds or so and then we're done. There we have it. Steak, cauliflower rice, broccoli cheese bake. Hope you all enjoy. And I'll see you again next time in the Kali G kitchen. Goodbye for now.